Welcome to the Innovative Classroom Podcast, where we explore the cutting edge of education through the lens of self-determination theory. I'm Brad Flickinger, a middle school technology teacher passionate about empowering students to take control of their learning journey. In each episode, we'll dive into practical strategies, inspiring stories, and expert insights to help you transform your classroom into a hub of creativity, autonomy, and student success. Let's innovate together. This episode is entitled An Authentic Audience, The Key to High Quality Student Work. Today's digital landscape is dominated by views, reviews, likes, and shares. Scroll through any online platform and you're prompted to rate a product, leave a review for a service, or like a post. These digital affirmations have become currencies in their own right, driving creators to craft better content, businesses to enhance services, and individuals to seek validation. This atmosphere has had a profound impact on the psyche of the younger generation. They don't just want to create, they want their creations seen, heard, and validated. The era of ratings and reviews, every click, every swipe, every online action seems to beckon a response. Did you enjoy the video? Rate it. How was your online purchase? Leave a review. This constant feedback loop has instilled in today's youth an intrinsic need for validation. And it's not just about seeking approval, but also about improving based on that feedback. Ratings and reviews offer insights into areas of excellence and avenues for improvement. Views is validation. For many, views equate to validation. If content gets a lot of views or listens, it's perceived as valuable. This mindset has shifted the emphasis from merely creating to creating something worth viewing. When no one sees the effort, the question arises, why put in so much work? The power of an authentic audience in education. In an educational setting, knowing that one's work will be seen or heard by a larger audience beyond the confines of a classroom can be a significant motivator. An authentic audience amplifies the stakes, pushing students to produce higher quality work. It's no longer just about grades. It's about pride, reputation, and showcasing one's capabilities to a broader community. Consider the example of the student podcast. Crafting content for just the teacher might lead to the bare minimum effort. But knowing that the podcast might be featured on the school's official channel, accessible to thousands, triggers a deeper sense of responsibility and pride. The student doesn't just want to pass. They want to shine. Benefits of having an authentic audience. One, quality enhancement. Aware that their work will be viewed by many, students are more inclined to refine and perfect it. Two, real-world experience. Engaging with an authentic audience prepares students for real-world scenarios where they'll have to cater to diverse audiences and solicit feedback. Three, boosted confidence. Positive feedback from a broader audience can significantly boost a student's confidence and motivation. Four, constructive feedback. Exposure to a diverse audience ensures varied feedback allowing students to grow and improve. Tapping into the desire for validation. Students today are primed to seek validation. They yearn for likes, shares, views, and comments. As educators, it's time to leverage this desire constructively by incorporating authentic audiences in technology projects and other academic endeavors. We can channel this need for validation into a drive for excellence. It's about reshaping the narrative from why should I do it if no one sees it to I want everyone to see what I can do. Authentic audiences, bringing students' technological projects to the forefront. In the evolving landscape of education, providing students with opportunities to present their work to authentic audiences becomes a pivotal element. It not only validates their efforts, but also opens doors to constructive feedback and broader perspectives. In this chapter, we outline several avenues where technology projects can be showcased, illustrating that the stage for students' presentation and can be as close as their classroom or as vast as a regional competition. Let's dive into the myriad ways 
students can bring their best work to the limelight, unveiling the potentials and nuances of each platform. Okay, the classroom, a close-knit audience. We begin with the classroom, a space of familiarity and camaraderie. Here, students can present their projects to their classmates, fostering an environment of mutual learning and respect. We delve into the strategies teachers can employ to facilitate constructive feedback and engagement during such presentations, nurturing a supportive classroom culture. School assemblies, the larger school community. Scaling up, we explore the prospect of showcasing students' technology projects at school assemblies. This section discusses the preparation involved and the potential impact of reaching a wider audience within the school, facilitating a culture of school-wide learning and appreciation. The school's YouTube channel, Connecting with the Digital World. Venturing into the digital sphere, we examine the role of the school's YouTube channel as a vibrant platform for students to reach out to a global audience. We discuss how this platform can be used to highlight student projects, the learning experiences behind them, and how to maintain a consistent digital presence that narrates the school's journey of nurturing young technologists. Lunchtime radio shows engaging through audio narratives. Radio shows present a dynamic medium to engage the school community through auditory narratives. This segment explores the conceptualization and implementation of lunchtime radio shows that showcase technology projects, offering insights into the unique audio format and the creative scope it provides. Technology festivals, a confluence of innovators. We then traverse into the world of technology festivals, spaces where innovation meets passion. Here, we detail the opportunities these festivals hold for students to showcase their projects amidst a congregation of technology enthusiasts and the potential collaborations and learning that can emerge from such platforms. Regional competitions, the apex of exposure. The chapter culminates with an exploration of regional competitions representing the pinnacle of exposure and recognition for student projects this section delineates the pathways to entering such competitions, the preparation required, and the invaluable experiences that students gain from competing and collaborating at a regional level, including the opportunity to receive mentorship and to network with like-minded individuals. Come to crafting pathways to authentic audiences. As we conclude, we reflect on the enriching journey of navigating through various avenues available for students to showcase their technology projects to authentic audiences through encouraging students to present their projects across diverse platforms we foster a nurturing environment that recognizes and celebrates their efforts instilling a sense of pride and encouraging them to continually reach for greater heights it is a call to educators and school communities to embrace these platforms championing the creativity and efforts of each student as we guide them in carving out their paths to success in the technological realm. Conclusion, an authentic audience is more than just a tool for validation. It's a mirror that reflects a student's capabilities, strengths, and areas of improvement. In a world where views and reviews reign supreme, it's crucial that educational projects tap into this paradigm, turning the digital age's hunger for validation into a drive for excellence in education. Thank you for tuning in to the Innovative Classroom Podcast. I'm Brad Flickinger, and I hope we can innovate and improve your teaching practice together. If you enjoyed today's episode, please subscribe, leave a review, and share it with fellow educators. Remember, together, we can create classrooms where students thrive. Until next time, keep innovating.